Hello students, welcome to iQuanta. Today we are going to discuss 12th set of ILRDI series, which is last set of CAG 2021 third slot. This is the question and it, it's based on horizontal bar graph. It says the figure above shows the below figure, the shows the schedule of four employees, Abani, Bahani, Dani and Tinni. Whom Dhoni supervised in 2020. Altogether, there were there were five projects which started and concluded in 2020, in which they were involved. For each of these projects and for each employee, the starting day was at the beginning of a month and concluding day was at the end of the month. Okay. It also says that the and these are indicated by left and right in points of the corresponding horizontal bars as you can see in the figure. The number within each bar indicates the percentage of assigned work completed by the employee for that project as assessed by Tony. For each employee, his her total project month is sum of the number of months she worked across five projects while his her annual completion index is weighted average of the completion percentage assigned from the different projects with the weights being the corresponding number of months he or she worked in these projects. We will come to that when uh, we will face the question on these concepts. Now it says for each project the total employee month is the sum of the number of months four employees worked in this project while its completion index is weighted average of the completion percentage assigned for the employees who work in this project with the weights being the corresponding number of months they work in this project. Okay. So this is the question and this is the information given. These are the questions. You can take your time, pause the screen. Okay. And then, then we can discuss this. So now, time for first question. It says, which of the following statements is are true? The total project month was the same for the four employees. What do we know about project months? So it's sum of all the months that any employee worked on a project. So how much is that for A? We can say for A, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for A, it's 9. For B, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For B, total project month is also 9. For T, total project month 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For T, total number of project months is also 9. For D, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So very clearly the project month for each employee is same. So we can say statement one is definitely true. What about statement two? It says the total employee month was same for the five projects. So for each project, what is the total employee month? It's sum of all the months that a all the employee worked on a project. So for project one, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So pro project one, it's six total. Total employee month is six. For project two, it's one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, project one and project two has different employee month, right? Total employee month. So definitely all of these are not true. We don't need to calculate further. Hence, only statement one is correct. Option. Second question, which employees did not work, did not work in multiple projects for any of the months in 2020? Let's see which employee did not work for any of the months. So for Abani, there is no overlapping as you can see. So Abani did not work in multiple projects. For Bahani, again, there is no overlapping. So Bahani also did not work in multiple projects. For Tini, there is overlap. See, right? This part is overlapping. She is work, she or he is working 
in project four and five simultaneously. For Dani, it's as you can see, there is no overlapping all the way. So only Dini worked in multiple projects. Okay. So what will be the answer? Answer is D. Only Abani, Bahani, and Dani did not work in multiple projects. Question number three, it says the project duration measured in terms of number of months is the time during which at least one employee worked in the project. Which of the following pair of the project had the same duration? So project one, you can see started with January, finished on 31st of March. So it's three for project one. For project two, started on 1 February, finished on 30th April. So it's three. For project three, one, two, three, four. For project four, it's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, for project three, one, two, three, four, five. For project three, it's also five. The project duration. For project four, it's also five. For project five, it's one, two, three, four. So we have two pairs of project which are for which project duration are equal. But in the option, if you see, only 3 and 4 is given. So we will choose option D. Now let's move on to the most time consuming question of this set. It says the list of employees in decreasing order of annual completion index is. Now what is annual completion index? So it was given, if you remember, his her annual completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage assigned from the different project with the weights being the corresponding number of months he or she worked the, in these projects. So let's talk about Abani. What will be the total annual completion index for Abani? Can we say it will be C did 100% of the work in two months for project one. So it's 100 into two plus for project three, once again, it's 100 into two. For project four, one, two, three, four, five months and 80% done. That's it. Divided by two plus two plus five. Because it's given that number of months is being the weightage. How much is this? 400 plus 400. It's 800 upon 9. About B. For Bahani, it's 100 into 2, 75 into 4, and 90 into 3. So 100 into 2 plus 75 into 4 plus 90 into 3 divided by 2 plus 4 plus 3, which gives us 200 plus 300, 500 and 270, it's 770 upon 9. And 4, let's calculate for Tini. So for Tini, it's 80 into 2, 100 into 2, 100 into 3 and 100 into 2. So 80 into 2 plus 100 into 2 plus 100 into 3 plus 100 into 2. This divided by 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, which gives us so 200, 300, 500, 700, and 160. So it will be 860 divided by 9. And what about Dani? So let's see. So it's 19 to 3, 100 into 3, 100 into 2, and then 100 into 1. So 90 into 3 plus 100 into 3 plus 100 into 2 plus 100 into 1 divided by 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which gives us 100, 300 plus 200, 500, 600 and 270, it's 870 upon 
9. So in denominator, all of these are 9. Can we see the order of numerator will define the order of these annual completion index? What we can say here? So we can say D is maximum. So it should be D, then it should be T, then it should be A, and then it should be B. So option C, right? D, T, A, B is the correct answer. And with this, we are done with this set. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something. Keep practicing for the CAT exam, guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.